ich gucke ja seit vielen Jahren so Tech-Reviewer und da gibt es ja so den einen oder anderen, die mal diese ultimativen Sim-Racing-Setups bauen. Und heute ist mir von Jay's Two Cents so ein Video reingespült worden. Und ich würde das sehr gerne mir ansehen. Was ist denn Building the Ultimate Sim Racing Setup? Na dann mal los. Hallo? I like cars. Das stimmt wirklich, Jay. Amazing prices on the brands you love at Micro Center. Micro Center has over 30.000 items in stock, including desktops, laptops, computer components, monitors, TVs and more. Not sure which parts to choose for your next build? Then use Micro Center's custom PC builder to find compatible parts, create your parts list, add them to your cart and use same day pickup at one of Micro Center's 25 locations nationwide. And if you're not comfortable building it, one of Micro Center's professional builders can build it for you as fast as same day for a fee. And if you need Wow. Jay's Two Cent hat äh, Cent hat von Microsoft. Wow. Okay. Ideas for a build, then head to Micro Center's Build Showcase for great build inspiration or submit your build for others to see. To cool. see everything that Micro Center has to offer, das freut mich in the description below. Das ist wirklich ein sehr geiles Video. Alright guys, today here's what I've got going on. We are going to assemble the Alpine. Aha, Track Racer also. Alpine Racing. Gutzen. Mosa also. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, TRX. Sim rig from, well, Track Racer. So Track Racer reached out to me actually a while ago asking if I wanted to take a look at one of their racing frames. Uh, Track Racer? Ich weiß, ich bin noch nicht so groß wie Jay, aber... Can we talk? And I've been wanting to build one for here in the studio now for quite a while, because all three of us here in the studio, um, we're car guys. We like to drive fast around tr circles and stuff and tracks, but you know what we can't afford to do is wreck our cars. But we can do it in VR and we can do it on the gaming stuff, the computer, and just hit reset when we screw up. But here's the thing, I want the ultimate realistic feel. So what Track Racer's done, they sent us their Alpine Racing. This isn't the blue one, unfortunately. It's the black one, but that's fine. It's okay, because I guess Alpine hasn't been doing great in F1 lately anyway, so we'll just rep black instead of the blue. <clears throat> but they've also talked to Moza about sending us some stuff. So we have a Moza package. I don't know what's in here because the other half of the equation here is not just what racing sim are you using. By that, I mean the frame and the seat. Irgendwie fehlt da eine ganze Menge, oder? Kann das sein? What's your wheel setup? Is it a belt drive? Is it a direct drive? Is it just a cheap, like, G92816 or whatever they call it now from Logitech? What's your pedals <laughs> and all that? So I'm currently using at home an Obato Revolution that I got back in, like, 2013, 2014. Uh, with uh, club sport stuff from Fanatec, which isn't bad. It's just, it's definitely aged. Uh, um, the steering wheel likes to shut itself off every now and then, and I've already had to go in there and, like, fix some solder joints as it is. So... It was time to upgrade some stuff. Now we also, you guys should go and check out the video we talked about with the... Ich muss kurz mal eine Frage stellen, die mit dem Video nichts zu tun hat. Wo trägt man normalerweise seine Uhren? Rechts oder links? Links? Okay, gut. Gut, 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 danke. Ich dachte nämlich immer rechts. Ich habe immer gedacht, die meisten Leute tragen rechts die Uhren, weil ich habe meine immer links. Okay. Danke. The uh, Asetech Invictus Pedals, because Asetech, the owners of Asetech, which you know, the AIO company, they're also huge into uh, auto racing and stuff. So they kind of came out with their own line of racing sim stuff. And I don't believe there's going to be pedals in here. This box does not look big enough for that. So today we might have to use the Invictus pedals with the Moza stuff, and we'll see. And I still might go with Fanatec Direct Drive with their new things. I don't, there's so much that's changed since I, I have done this last. Like, Fanatec was like the only brand making anything that was cool and high end. Now there's so much stuff, but we need to build the frame first. So I'm gonna get Nick over here to help me. We'll just kind of take you guys along. I'm auf jeden Fall beim Transport ein bisschen gelitten. For a ride on what the assembly is like. Um, but I think the first thing we'll do actually is we'll unbox the Moza box and see exactly what's in there. Cause I'm curious now. Um, oh, these are the pedals. Okay. Those are pretty. Oh, sind das nicht die? Oh, die würde ich ja auch gerne mal ausprobieren, ne? Wie die so sind. Oh, das würde ich auch gerne mal testen, wie die so drauf sind. Sick looking pedals. So apparently we don't have a wheel then. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so it is a fixed back seat. Like a, it's either plastic, more than likely it's plastic. Yeah. <laughs> that is not the, uh... This is pretty comfy though. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a turtle yeah, right now. <laughs> it's pretty fat guy. <laughs> really? You should try this ride, it's pretty fun. 
Yeah, it literally looks oh, like. Oh, is that wieder da? Oh, wie cool! Nick is a ninja turtle that's on his back. Yeah. Because it uses a typical side mount seat mount, that's awesome. Because it means I believe you can actually order this as well without a seat if you have one specifically that you want to use. But let's say you have a Sparko seat or something. That you Nick war nie weg. Doch früher glaube ich war er mal eine ganze Weile nicht da. Da war irgendwas anderes los oder so. Ich weiß es nicht genau, aber es war so eine Periode, wo er mal abwesend war. Wo sind dieses doppelstöckige Office gezogen sind in der Zeit? You would. Okay, let's say you're not me and you're a professional driver who is like, I have a sim rig to train and practice on in the off season. You have a very specific seat set up and feeling that you're used to. You could mount that same seat in this rig just to give it a little bit more realism. That way it matches um, what it is that you're used to feeling. So I like that. And this, there's other pieces falling out of it. Huh. So I'm wearing different clothes because it's actually the next day. Little do we know we were actually missing two boxes. <laughs> the box we were missing is literally step one. <laughs> yeah, that step. <laughs> that one. That's where this goes. We got the R9 V2 direct Aha, drive wheel. I forgot to say. <clears throat> da kommt auch bestimmt noch was. Base. Okay. Um, R9. Which is obviously where the steering wheel is going to attach. And they sent us two wheels. So we got the GS V2. Ey, Mosa macht richtig Angriff, Alter. <lacht> Mosa macht richtig Angriff, Junge. And then we got the actual R uh, FSR Formula Wheel. This one's cool because it has a screen on it. Check that out. We've got overtake and DRS button and all that. I, I, it's pretty cool because I assume this can all be like in Formula um, uh, or F1 Racing and maybe like iRacing and these other games that have really realistic controls. I'd assume we can hold the box button and that'll lock us to like pit speed and stuff, which is pretty neat. More buttons than I'm used to on a steering wheel. This is the seat base here. <laughs> we have adjustable positions. Um, so you can see on the side, we have a GT position and we have a Formula One position. Now, the reason why it, the GT position is so much higher is because that seat that we were, I was rolling around in is so reclined. Remember, F1 is almost like a laying back. Nee, also im Preiskampf haben sie ja jetzt schon. Der Preis, den Preis, den Moser macht, ist einfach eine Ansage. Die bumsen gerade alles weg. Also nicht alles im Sinne von, dass alles dagegen schlecht ist. Sie greifen einfach alles an gerade. Also den kompletten Markt. Bis auf die, ich glaube, den ganz großen, wo die ganz dicken Wheelbases drin sind, da ist Moser, glaube ich, noch nicht drin. Flat position. Because they can get real low into Und the fuselage. Pedale. But we're going to probably realistically be doing this more uh, in a GT style racer. I'm still not 100% positive I'm going to keep that seat. I do think it's comfortable, but I kind of want a, a thicker padded leather recliner type one, honestly, because this is not a real car, so I don't need it to feel like one. But anyway. <clears throat> Now what do we do? I don't think the manual's big enough. I think you guys. <laughs> Wie geil ist das denn? <laughs> you could, okay, yeah, go. make it super big. There we go. Wie geil. So it's not a good sign when early on in the manual you're missing hardware that it's saying that you need. So you can see it says we need the, what, WLM8 washers because we're supposed to use these M8 by 16 screws to bolt down the sliders. Um, they didn't give us any of those, so. I probably have some washers I can use of my own, but okay. uh, we've gone through all the hardware bags and stuff, and this is everything right here that came with it. So not a okay. good sign when you're missing things that you're supposed to have. Also, too, they show in that manual that the slider is like kind of already looks like one piece, and like just mount the slider. Technically, you have to put it together, and they don't tell you any of that. So already, I'm gonna. Okay, also. Mm. I give them kind of like a mid-grade, slightly fail of a, of a manual, because there's a lot of like... Jay, du baust ganze Computer, du wirst doch wohl drei Teile zusammenpacken können. Come on. Like scratching your head going, what exactly am I missing, slash, what do they mean? Um, <clears throat> and here's the thing, I'm kind of a little bit of an idiot, so you have to account for people like me when it comes to that. So, and if I'm okay. If like going, okay, how can I do this and how can I, you know, monkey something together that's not that that's signs of a, of a bad manual so so far the hardware is great their manual it needs work now we have to work on the front half of the rig because this is just the seat base half step by right slide the colors over but you can't slide the colors over until you remove these screws yeah the oh that's not my hello oh okay it'll need some serious work so if you, if you want to know why we're being harsh on the manual this is a this was a review unit this was sent for review 
and putting it together is part of the review. So the manual is, is bad. Okay, so now I have to put the pedal box in, but don't scratch it. The way they say it slides in, it doesn't. <laughs> Wait, that way? Just, it just goes in. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Even, even with these loose. Yay! Did it. So that's what's gonna tie the front end together. Once those are tight, then we can tighten these up. M5 by 20. Nope, M5 by 10. It, I don't think we needed 20 mil screws to go into. Okay, hat das Ding vielleicht vorher schon mal jemand gehabt? Ist das so ein, ist das wieder so ein Review-Ding, was rumgeht wie eine Wanderhure? Filme sollten wirklich aufhören, sowas zu machen. Das ist nicht geil. Das ist nicht geil, da kommen Filme nicht bei gut rum. Oder die wieder zurückholen und dann B-Ware draus machen. Nee, mm -mm, ist nicht geil. Stop it. To the Don't do it. Bracket slider, but again, the manual's wrong. Or what we got is wrong. Something's wrong. I feel stupid. Ja, aber der Review-Set heißt nicht gleich Review-Set, ne? Also ich kriege auch Review-Sets zugeschickt, also die werden so genannt, aber das sind original eingepackte Dinger, die ich nicht zurückschicken muss. Easy. Got it. I'm gonna go eat now. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to just finish putting this together. We'll kind of keep some notes here on anything that was wrong in the manual moving forward. Um, and then we'll kind of show you all the adjustability and stuff with it, because there's a lot of adjustments that you can Das finde ich übrigens geil. Und das fehlt ein bisschen beim Alu-Rig, dass man alles verschieben und hinpacken kann. Das finde ich gut. Das finde ich sehr, sehr gut. Ich wünsche mir, und es gibt eine Firma, die das macht mit Alu-Rigs, aber ich habe keine Ahnung, wie die heißt. Ich finde das so geil, dass man alles verschieben, hoch, runter machen kann. You can have with this thing, and that's gut. what's cool about it, because oh, we so are einfach. three different heights and three different body types here, and my Obudo Revolution Rig was not adjustable other than the seat slider. And that was Haben Sie den Seat eigentlich falsch rum aufgebaut? Warum kippt der so weit nach... Okay. Is it. So, Phil, to drive, with where my pedal position was, he would have to push the seat all the way forward to reach the pedals, and then the steering wheel was like against his chest, yeah. which clearly doesn't work very well. So this one now, with having full independent adjustment... Is this falsch rum? ...adjustment of seat recline, or pitch, seat-based pitch, I should say, uh, steering wheel pitch and distance, okay. and as well as height, <clears throat> and the pedal adjustment in terms of height, tilt, and slide, is just gonna be absolutely insane to be able to get everything set up exactly as you would need or want it. So we'll get this all put together, we'll come back, and then we'll give you guys some thoughts on the build quality, and then maybe we'll play around with it real quick. NZXT's build is a quick and easy way to get a new gaming computer. Build a gaming PC on your budget using the built-in configurator and see exactly how your favorite games will perform. Want to build your own PC but still have the NZXT peace of mind warranty? Then the new BLD Build It Yourself kit has what you want. That's Buy it and build it yourself and NZXT has you covered. To get started configuring or building your next gaming PC, visit the build link in the description below. Okay, let's go. All right, so the TRX from Track Racer is all put together. It took us a few hours of kind of finagling and getting everything fit. Um, obviously, we have the Moza steering wheel on here, pedal system on there. I don't have it wired up yet because I'm going to be doing a very nice cable management. I'm going to get Auto Loom just so it matches like auto style and then they'll be going down the tubes. And what I'm gonna be doing is actually putting a USB 3.0 hub right here, having all the, the steering wheel and pedal stuff and I'm gonna be doing a shifter and an e-brake, uh, hydro brake, all that stuff on here as well. And then the hub will be a single wire to the computer and then obviously the power plug will have its own power strip. <laughs> Ach Jay, schön, dass du nur mit einem rechnest. <laughs> and stuff on it, just like I did with my Butter Revolution. I didn't even take the sticker protectors off yet. But what we did, one of the things we did off camera is we had to kind of get everything sort of situated in a spot where I don't want to be constantly turning knobs on this and adjusting things. Um, because every time I turn a knob, it's because it's under so much tension, I see a little bit of thread material shavings kind of come out. So if we we're constantly moving it around, I think eventually we'll eat through those thread, threads and then it will no longer hold any position. So I don't think this was ever intended to be constantly moved around like that. I think it was intended to be kind of set and forget because we're talking about one person would normally be using it. But like I said, we're three different people here. It's at the studio, we're gonna be using it here. Phil is five foot two, yep. I'm six foot four. Um, what I love is the fact that he's comfortable in this chair and so am I. So that is the biggest plus already. But what we did was we kind of found a spot where we could leave the, the, the pedals mounted. So we mounted the pedals as far this way as you could see. They're actually overhanging a little bit. 
um, because of the fact that the pedal slider doesn't come as far towards the seat as we would have liked. So this is technically Phil's sitting position right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the camera from him. I'm gonna let him sit down. So you can see we've got the F1 wheel installed. I love these shifters, man. <laughs> They're so good. Ugh. And then you can see his foot position. You can see his knee position, everything. We're kind of in a hybrid F1 GT position. Guck, siehst du, sag ich ja. Ich glaube, also wenn die den Sitz hoch machen, haben die den, also ich glaube nicht, dass das falsch ist, aber es sieht so falsch aus, weil dann klippt der Sitz ja nach so. Huh. Position where we're reclined a little more. Um, just what we feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lit. My Butter Revolution, which by the way, I got that in 2016 and it was already years old at the time, like in terms of its design, gave me a seat on sliders and that was it. In fact, my 13 year old daughter would sit at the rig and then she's like this with the steering wheel and all far forward with her feet because we can't adjust anything. So I'm going to take the seat and I'm going to push it all the way back, which is actually not my normal sitting position. I'm going to take the steering wheel, pull it about halfway. That's cool. That's really good. Tighten those down and take the pedals, push it forward about right there. And now you can see I'm ready to go. So one simulator rig that fits both of us. Now, if Nick comes over here and sits down, he probably only have to make some minor adjustments because him, he's about two inches, three inches shorter than me. This is kind of like when we did our, our office chair review, how we're like one chair fits all. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about build quality. Build quality is pretty outstanding. The hardest part is making sure that as you start to tighten things up that you keep the frame square. Because what we initially dealt with is we tightened it up, it was kind of like diamond a little bit, which was making getting all the, the wheel stuff mounted very difficult. Now a couple things we customized on this I want to point out. This is actually part of the monitor mount and it's intentionally supposed to go here. Alternatively, you can mount it here if you want. I mounted it here just because it looks neat as like a dash. We're not gonna be using monitors directly mounted to this. It's gonna be VR for the most part. Um, secondly, you'll notice that we mounted the universal plate for the wheel upside down. And that was actually a suggestion given to us by the uh, track, track racer guys directly. So you can see it's upside down, which gets it to a more realistic steering wheel position. If it was sitting up here on top right here, That'd be a really high steering wheel position. The downside is I have to be careful when I'm getting in and out because I've bashed my knee on this a couple times already and being six foot four, that's true for any car that I drive. <laughs> so it's just like a real car at this point. We also are considering maybe trying to turn this into a hybrid driving sim, flying sim because of the fact that we have all these extra mounts that we're not using technically, we might be able to make something work for a HOTAS connection. So yeah, shifter mounts on both sides. Right. This would be for you European slash uh, Asian drivers that are on the opposite side of the road. I think Asia, a lot of Asia and a lot of Europe are opposite side, right? Although Taiwan was the correct side of the road. Adjustability is pretty neat. So we've got the steering wheel set in a height position because the front can give you height and then the rear gives you tilt. And then the whole thing can slide away or towards you kind of at a 45 degree angle. So the Moza stuff. Um, we're not gonna do a video about that today. We just needed something to mount to this, otherwise we wouldn't have any position sets. Um, but we'll do another video on the Moza, especially if you guys ask for it. But you can see right here, it's got its own software that is all uh, user interface, which is pretty awesome because of the fact that Fanatec finally has something like this, but for the longest time, Fanatec was really awful. The mono? I'm so far really happy with this Moza setup versus my Fanatec Club Sport stuff I have at home, which is quite, quite old. So it's time for me to upgrade. And I think something like this is gonna be where we go. <clears throat> I've been talking about this for like years, honestly, like years. And I'm kind of happy that we finally did this. So anyway, uh, I'll put some links down below where you guys can go and check out Track Racer yourself. They have a whole bunch of different sets. This is, this is a fairly expensive uh, frame. I wanna say it's like 1200 US dollars for this frame. The Alpine stuff also is selling out as fast as they make it. They have it in an Alpine blue, which matches the F1 racing team blue. And then they have this matte black, as you can see. Um, I think that right now they are taking orders towards their next shipment. So if you guys were interested in that, then you have to get on that pre-order list. So far, based on what we see, highly worth it. We've been waiting weeks for it ourselves. Now that we have it, I think it's, uh, well, one, it matches the room perfectly you know, with the matte black. And then two, now we can truly figure out who is the best driver on the team. All right, guys, thanks again to uh, Track Racer and Moza for sending us all this stuff to check out. 
and uh, you guys can put all the links to the stuff down below. The, the adjustability is endless on this, honestly. We didn't even adjust the pedals as much as we could because you have tilt and height adjustments on the pedals. Same thing with the seat. As you can see, we're an F1 in the rear, but GT in the front. <laughs> yeah, we are all party in the front and business in the rear right there, you know. So uh, anyway, you just find what works for you and it's perfect. The only thing I wish it had that we might mock up ourselves is some casters, just so we can roll it around the room. Or we'll just have to put those furniture sliders under it which will work too. That's how I did that with the Obito at home. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Okay, aber er ist nicht gefahren? Also ich würde das jetzt nicht als das Ultimative bezeichnen. Ich denke mal, es ist jetzt so der Titel, dass Leute sich das reinziehen. Aber es ist schön zu sehen, dass sich auch äh, immer mehr Menschen, also was heißt immer mehr, Jay ist ja selber schon viele Jahre gefahren, also zockt ja auch und fährt ja auch, ich glaube sogar auch in Real Life. Ähm, schön. Gibt es hier noch ein weiteres Video dazu, was, äh, ähm, wo sie das testen?